A little bit of enthusiasm here, everybody. Let's get some big circles going. Let's keep the legs moving. Toning the entire upper body and five, six, seven. Feels good to squeeze the back. Eight. Hi, I'm David Morrow, author of the book, Fat Into the Fire. Fat Into the Fire is the complete cutting edge book on fitness, health, fat loss, and overall well-being. In the book, Fat Into the Fire, I write about my special five-minute coffee break that you can do any afternoon or any time you need a little pick-me-up. It's a totally natural, quick, and easy way to revitalize yourself, refresh yourself, and re-energize for the rest of the day. Great any time that you need a little pick-me-up. First of all, you, while you're sitting at your chair, at your desk, wherever you may be, let's just get that posture correct. Too many times we sit around all day long and we relax and the abdomen comes out and it's stressful on our back. So, let's get the head up and the chest up and let's suck in that stomach. Suck in those abdominals. Get our posture set. Starting with some neck stretches. Let's just lean to the right, stretch it out, and back to the other side and stretch it forward. Now for the shoulders. Let's just lift up on one side. And let it go back down. And lift up. And then back down. Now, let's do a shoulder roll backwards. Really stretch it out. It feels good. And let's bring it back forward. Stretch it out as you round out the shoulders. Now drop the chin. And let's push back. And you get a stretch in the back of the neck. Lift it all up again, get our posture back, put the hands behind the neck, and let's squeeze the muscles, pushing in at the base of the neck. Relax, a little massage for the neck muscles. Put your hands on tops of your thigh, and let's breathe in deeply. Lift up the chest and rib cage, and suck in that stomach. Remember to breathe in deeply through your nose, then exhale deliberately through your mouth. Now let's really open it up here. Stretch out the chest and bring it in. So we're just lifting up the rib cage, stretching, come back in. Let's take it up a little higher. Breathe in. Extend the arms upward. Elongate the spine. Head up, chest up, suck in the stomach, come back down. Let's do a little bit of work for the sides of the abdominals. Stretch to the side, to the other side, stretch, stretch. Once again, we're doing all this while seated if you like. Let's do a few twists, tightening up the abdominal muscles, the waistline. Really gets that blood flowing to the core. Takes away some stress and tension off the lower back. Suck in the abs, lift that chest up, and relax. Real quick, let's do some quick stomach vacuums with some stomach suck-ins, abdominal. We're sucking in the stomach, lifting up the rib cage, and releasing. This will really tighten up and trim up the waistline. Suck it in, let it out. Suck it in and let it out. Now let's just move down a little bit further. We're going to squeeze the glutes. We're squeezing the buttock muscles. Yes, you can be seated in your chair and work your butt. We're going to get it toned up and firmed up back here. I'm just squeezing together the gluteus muscles. Now let's move some leg extensions. Five reps on each side. Flexing upper thigh, and then we can do some leg lifts right here from our chair for the hips and the front of the thigh, and you can even get in some leg curls while we're here. Bring the knee up to the chest, concentrate on flexing the back of the leg as you curl. 
curl your heel towards your butt. Let's release some more pressure and get rid of some more tension by doing some light tapping. What we're going to do is tap on some acupuncture pressure points. It'll tap away the stress and you'll feel great. So with your fingers starting at the top of your head, let's do some light tapping. Now come down, just moving down on top of the eyebrows. Remember, in the book, Fat Into the Fire, we emphasize that you're going to get some snacks in between meals to keep your metabolism up, running at a maximum level. That way you have maximum energy and you can achieve maximum fitness, a maximum you. In the book, we say that you want to have a snack that's around 150 or 200 calories. Fat Into the Fire tells you to focus on protein on your meals and at your snacks as well. So, for your snack, if you're going to have an energy bar, a nutrition bar, or a protein bar, make sure it has at least 5 grams of protein, and you don't want a bar that has a lot of carbohydrates or sugar. 25 grams or less is a good rule of thumb. Now, if you are going to have real food, which is a great idea in the afternoon, you want to get a little bit of protein, a little bit of fiber, and a little bit of carbohydrates. A small apple works great, or a pear, or a small banana, and we need a little bit of protein to go with it. So a one serving of nuts or a low-fat dairy product, cottage cheese, low-fat cheese, skim milk, will all work great to meet your afternoon snack requirements. Now you'll have plenty of energy. Your metabolism will be running at a maximum. You're not a kid anymore, so when it's afternoon snack time, that does not mean it's okay to run down to the vending machine and load up on cookies, crackers, greasy chips, and definitely you don't want to be washing that down with soda. All that high fructose corn syrup is just sucking the energy, the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients right out of your body. They won't do anything at all productive for your metabolism. Those snacks are the ones that are making you sleepy in the afternoon, and they're making you fatter. So remember, follow the fat into the fire guidelines for your snacks, and you will have a maximum metabolism for maximum fat burning. Remember, Fat Into the Fire shows you how to have maximum fat burning 24 hours of every single day. So here's to your high energy levels, and here's to you getting in some great workouts and feeling great. That is Fat Into the Fire. Ten. Two more. Pump. Pump. Excellent job. Very good. We'll see you next time.